Hi guys, today I'm going to show you one of the best iTunes alternatives for 2024. This app can be used to transfer files between your iOS devices and your Windows computer without any restriction. This app is called AnyTrends for iOS right here. So once you open it, plug in your device. And as you can see, my device has been plugged in and it shows that it is iPhone 12 Pro Max. And right now it's loading the data from my device. Data so photos, music, videos, messages, and so on. Just wait for it to load the data. And while waiting for it, you can see it shows the information about my device as well. As you can see, my device is running iOS 17.3.1. The free space that I have is 33.62 gigabytes. And if you want more information about your device, you can also click on info here. It will show you all the details of your device, including the activation state. So let's say you bought a new iPhone and you want to know whether this iPhone has been activated before or not you can also use this app to check it to see if you have been deceived or you actually bought a new iPhone so this app is really useful and now it finished loading my data from my iPhone and it shows that I have 483 photos 78 songs in my music app 107 apps in my iPhone so we'll start with photos here so these are the photos on my computer I have 480 so what I can do is that if you want to back up all of these photos into my computer, I can do so as well by clicking on select all right here. If you select all of these and I can click on to PC here to transfer it to my computer. But if I want to add more photos into my photos app, I click on add here. I can click to import files or folder. If I have two devices connected to the same computer, I can also transfer between devices as well. That's photos. There is no restriction with this app. It's really cool. The next one is music. So as it shows here, I have 78 songs in my music app. These are offline songs. So if you are like me, love listening to the same song again and again, or your same favorite albums, then you may want to listen to music offline instead of using Apple Music or Spotify, where you need to have internet connection to be able to stream your music. With this feature, you can transfer music offline into your music app and listen to it anywhere you want, anytime you want without any internet connection. Again, you can add more music to it. You can copy all of these songs from your iPhone or your iOS device to your Windows computer by clicking on select all here and click to PC. If you're using Mac, it will say to Mac. Again, you can also add songs to it. If you have more offline songs you want to add into your music app, you can also do so by clicking on add here. And of course, they have the option for you to add from iTunes or add from your computer. You can also transfer songs between devices if you are connected to devices at the same time to the same computer. That is songs. Next is music videos. Again, similar to songs, if you have music video that you have created or downloaded from the internet, you wanna watch those music videos on your device, you can also add it into your device through this app as well. Next is apps. As it shows you right here, I have 107 apps on my iPhone. You have the ability to uninstall individual app directly from here by clicking on uninstall button here. Or you can select all and then click on the lid to uninstall all of this app all at once. So if you do not want to waste your time deleting apps one by one, you can use any trends app to select all the apps you want to delete and just in one go, click on delete, it's gone. You can also update the apps right now, like for example, Adidas app here, they have the button for you to update to a higher version. You can do so as well by clicking on update button here. But when you click on update, you need to type in your Apple ID and password. You can also add app to it as well if you have IPA a file which is supported by Apple but you may also want to sign in with the correct Apple ID and password to be able to make it work on your device the next feature is books and as you can see here they have two options audio books and books for audio books of course if you have audio books that you created or downloaded it from the internet you want to listen to it offline directly from your iOS devices you can add it here and find that audiobook and listen to it from there. You can also copy the audiobooks that you have stored on your device to your Windows computer. So it's back and forth here. Next is books, iBooks. 
So if you have iBooks, the EPUB format that is supported by Apple and the PDF, you can also add it here to your device through this app as well. You can also copy the books itself from your device directly back to your computer as well. Same thing with podcasts, ringtones, or voice memo as well. For ringtone, of course, if you have your customized ringtone, let's say you don't like Apple ringtones, it sounds boring, for example, you want to add your own customized ringtone into your device to use it as your ringtone. So if you want to do so, you can use this app and trends to add those customized ringtone into your device and you can select it to use as your ringtone you can also copy these ringtones right now I have 12 customized ringtone I can copy all this back to my Windows computer I can also share these ringtones with my friends device using this app as well or I can add more ringtones by clicking on add here it's really cool last but not least is contact so with any trends, all the contacts in your contacts app can be backed up to your computer with just a few clicks. You just click select all here and click to PC. It will copy all of these into your PC. You can also add any contacts that you have, but make sure that the format is VCF or CSV. You can also delete any contacts you want or delete all of it and click on delete in one go it's gone so as you can see that with any trends there's so much you can do with it you can transfer files between your ios devices and your windows or mac computers quickly and conveniently without any restrictions it is a great replacement to itunes so if you like the app all the links are in the description you can check it out if you're a Windows user, you can download the Windows version. If you're a Mac user, of course, you can download the Mac version. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day, guys. See you in the next video.